like the song, and it's enough to play along with the whole song. All right, so capo in the second fret. Theoretically, if you wanted to play this song in first position, um, you know, E minor chord, you know, you could put the high note from like G chords into it. Like I'm playing E minor, and I'm just third fret of the first string, and I could be like, and that's exactly the same as the second. So if you wanted to do like a rhythm guitar version, you should be like. So yeah, it's just E minor with another note, which again is more difficult and less difficult. It's just like, but in reality, we're doing that same chord up here. We're like, hey, check it out. It's the same as doing that. We we'll just have open strings. So yeah, right hand wise, um, you know, our thumb parallel to the string, and as opposed to out here, just resting on the instrument, and our fingers curled up like this. Um, and let's also just recognize that it doesn't look like you're going to be using your ring finger in the entire song. Uh, it's just going to be three fingers. Maybe she's just a three finger picker. Um, and yeah, so what happens when we end up in this position that everybody does at first is that like the index finger gets disqualified and people end up doing a lot more with that. So generally, like we were talking about during the lesson, these three guys are going to be on adjacent strings with our thumb moving around as opposed to ever being like this position or something like that. So we can just go... Um, right hand wise, it's like I'm hitting the bass note with the second, first and second string, or excuse me, second and third string. There's the first two chords, and then I'm going exactly the same. And there's just the, the, the B string. There we go. So, so aside from our thumb having to move to here for G, it's really like we're going There's the basic one. I'd go for like you know one good attempt of pausing and stuff like that. Just really let yourself focus on um, the right hand technique. Uh, so yeah, there we are. But if you want to sound like the song, you can be like. It's just like it's just like an interesting thing she did where she was like, I'll just start it. But the part's totally like. Sounds harder than it is. Uh, you know, we hit one of the normal chords, and then you know the picking part is just these two fingers for the next bit. We're just going, and then yes, yeah, so in the first one, your ring finger moves two frets. The second one, it just moves one fret. So there's that fun part. Thing. But yeah, it's a, you know, really that's a perfect example of a thing that sounds like it's more difficult than it is. If you actually know the, the first bit already, it's just like... Right back to the normal stuff. Cool. Chorus is going to go one time through where she plays four chords, where she goes... So what 
part of my hand do I strum with when I'm not using a pick? That's a good question that we haven't gotten to yet. Just kind of something that isn't just your thumb, exactly what you're doing right there, kind of like mostly like using, you know, this part of your hand, like a big pick. Um, as long as you're not trying to do the whole thing with your thumb, you'll probably come up with something into it. And that's exactly what I'm doing. You just kind of, you know, take three fingers and your thumb, or like one big pick being used percussively. Um, and yeah, you know, that's what she's doing a lot of in the actual intro is hybrid picking. Which is where she does picking stuff and then interjects drums like, like. Well, maybe we can figure out the exact part there, but it totally just sounds like. 